This video is for entertainment purposes only and is not financial advice. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Josh and in today's video I wanted to show you how you can track your portfolio performance by using ShareSite. So as you know recently, Sharesies and ShareSite have now partnered up and now you can easily move your Sharesies transaction data into ShareSite. In today's video I want to show you how you can do that and how you can track your portfolio performance benchmark it against an appropriate index. As well as that, I'll show you the types of reports that you can generate, which are very useful, especially for taxes as well. When it comes to tax time, there's a report that on a click of a button spits out all the tax information you need to file your obligations. So I've been using ShareSite for quite some time now, and I also do have a referral link down in the video description below that if you do decide to use ShareSite, uh, you can sign up using that link to get four months for free on a yearly plan. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so here's how you can connect your Sharesies account onto ShareSite. So over here, I'm on the ShareSite page and I've created a new portfolio to uh, show what the Sharesies public portfolio has. It gives me a few different options to get started with ShareSite. So first I could do it manually, which would take ages because as you know, I like to dollar cost average into Sharesies. And what that means is that I have a lot of transactions. So they have a function that you can use, which is to import your transactions from a broker. And so I'll click on Sharesies over here. They give you the instructions. It's very easy. All you need to do is just follow that. And as you can see over here, I'm in my Sharesies uh, public portfolio. And I would go into settings and click on portfolio. Then they'll ask you which portfolio you want to connect onto ShareSite. And as I mentioned before, I've set up a new portfolio for the Sharesies public portfolio. So select that. And I want to send all past buy and sell transactions. And all I need to do now is connect. And just like that, it now says that your buy and sell transactions are being sent to ShareSite. And depending on how much buy and sell transactions you had previously, uh, the longer it will take. So give that a few minutes and it should show up on your ShareSite dashboard. All right, so here is the Shazies Public Portfolio on ShareSite once it's fully transferred all the data. As you can see, the current portfolio value is $23,095. Whereas on the Sharesies webpage, it says that my portfolio value is 23,523. So there's a difference of about four to 500 between ShareSite and Sharesies. So I did a little bit of digging and what I found was that the difference in the portfolio values comes from the differences in Auckland International Airport as well as Oceania Healthcare. And looking at the transaction, I was able to figure out that the differences uh, had to do with any special corporate actions, such as a share purchase plan, right? So for example, this is not reflected in the Auckland International Airport uh, share site transactions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna manually add that in. So as you can see, this was purchased on the 4th of May, 2020 whereas it doesn't show up here. So there should have been a transaction saying 4th of May, 2020. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to add an adjustment, uh, basically to reflect this purchase over here. So this was in May of 2020. So that was in May of four, and I purchased 19 shares, 19 shares at $4.66, which was uh, very, very cheap, but that was during the pandemic. So this is $88.54 in total, so that matches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the trade. So once I've added that transaction in, as you can see now, the amounts uh, reconcile to the investment value that I have on Sharesies. So I'm gonna refresh that and hopefully it should reflect the changes now. So 1,800, which matches up with this 1,800 amount. So I'm gonna do the same with Oceania Healthcare. So once I've added that up, I have now $5,816. And in the account over here, it's $5,816. So hopefully now it should add up if I just refresh and go into overview. You can see that the current portfolio value is 23,524, 
which matches up to a few cents. So obviously this share site uh, doesn't have the cash position if you do have cash, but it so happens as well that the portfolio currently doesn't have any cash. So it just makes it a lot easier, um, you know, essentially just reflecting the public portfolio. So now what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna add a benchmark so you can see how well the portfolio has performed and all you need to do is click add benchmark and you can choose whichever uh, benchmark you want. So in my case, I'm going to benchmark myself against the NZX top 50 because most of the portfolio is in New Zealand and that makes sense as the most applicable benchmark. And you can see that the total returns for the NZX top 50 ETF is 10.77% per annum, whereas the public portfolio has delivered 12.53%, right? So it shows that I have outperformed and you can do a graph performance index, which shows more clearly uh, how the portfolio has performed against the benchmark. So and just give it a little bit of time to load. So it's its first time crunching the data. So obviously it'll take a little bit longer, but usually it doesn't take as long, right? So if I hide the NZX and ASX uh, performances, and I can only see now uh, how the shares these public portfolio has done versus the NZX top 50, uh, it does look like the shares these public portfolio has outperformed the smart shares NZ top 50 ETF. Now I do want to clarify that the NZX and ASX performances over here are not the index performances, but rather they are the performance of the NZX stocks within the portfolio and the ASX stocks within the portfolio. And together combined, it makes up the uh, overall ShareZX public portfolio performance. And what you can do as well is see how you've performed over a certain time frame. So if I want to look at my performance over the past year, I'm able to see that by changing uh, the timing. But again, as you can see over the past year, the portfolio has delivered 10.95% returns versus the index of 5.12%. So overall, very happy with the Sharesy's public portfolio performance. Now there are other reports that are very handy that you can generate. So you can take a look at your performance report. You can look at what securities you've sold, your future income, which calculates what upcoming dividends and interest you have. Diversity report, in my opinion, is uh, very useful because it does show you how your portfolio is structured. So this is a very handy tool, one that I would use a lot showing me how well diversified the portfolio currently is. And as you can see, I have 24.73% in medical slash nursing services. So that's in uh, Oceania Healthcare. And then the second largest position is in real estate development, which would be Centro Group. So that's a very handy feature to see how diversified you are. And uh, you can also change the date that you generate this report. So if I wanna look at my portfolio last year, I can also do that and it will generate me what I had at the time. So as you know, previously I had uh, a portion of the portfolio in ETFs, which I later on sold down as the, uh, as the Sharesies platform decided to add a transaction fee on that. Um, other reports such as tax also becomes very useful, especially you know, when it comes to tax time. And it's fairly simple to actually figure out what taxes you need to pay through the taxable income report. So for the taxable income report, it shows you what taxes that you need to pay if you are collecting dividends. So as you can see, there's no dividends, distributions, or interest payment within the selected dates. So let's say uh, last financial year, they'll be able to generate all the dividends that I've received and the uh, total dividends and imputation credits that I've received as well. I'll spit up all the data and uh, I'll just have to file that in my income tax statement. So it's very easy and uh, one of the best tools out there for calculating taxes on ShareSite. So play around with the reports. Uh, you can sign up for a free account just to test out the different functions. Uh, but I will have a referral link down below. If you sign up for a 12 month plan, you will get four months for free. So that's all for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful in moving your ShareZ's data onto ShareSite. Obviously, I couldn't cover everything in this video. So if there's any questions that you have, uh, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, take care.